I often refer to bipolar disorder as the intermittent illness because while we talk about the highs and the lows, we don't talk about the fact that it's a spectrum and that you're moving back and forth on it, which means with no intervention, with no treatment, with nothing, you're going to end up right in the middle, the normal the stereotypical, the average. And that's when your best personality shines. And that's when you get the job. That's when you meet the person of your dreams. That's when you make all the friends. That's when you make all the promises. And then, of course, when you're symptomatic, that's when you break all those promises. And that's when you're not the greatest friends. And a lot of people don't see those as symptoms of bipolar disorder. They see them as boundary issues. They see them as you being problematic. They see them as you being a jerk. And even if they know that you live with bipolar disorder, they still don't see it that way because they don't understand that it's intermittent. They're, they're waiting for depression and they're waiting for mania, but if they see anything else on that spectrum, they don't understand what it is. And when they ask, hey, why are you doing this? And you try to explain that it's a symptom of bipolar disorder. They're thinking, I don't I don't think that's true. I've seen you be good. I, I, I know that's a funny way to put it, but you've got to look at this through the lens of people who don't understand our disorder, who don't understand our illness. And what they see is you pushing right through boundaries. So I think if we can explain to our loved ones that it is, is this intermittent illness. I really love the phrase intermittent illness we will get more compassion, more empathy, and more understanding because they will... Un